Welcome, everybody, to another fabulous weekend of racing and action at Birmingham Greyhound Racing. The opportunities are limitless for you to step to the plate and have a chance not only to have great fun, but to win big time. We've got great racing action on Friday night, live Greyhound Racing and simulcasting kicking it off. And then, of course, Saturday, what a lineup of just tremendous opportunities with our sports contest, all of the great uh, racing action from all over the country, including on the horse racing side, the final day of the Keeneland Fall Meet. Keeneland, of course, up in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, watch these pages. We're going to try to get you a couple of best bets for the Keeneland card on Saturday. Had some uh, information out there on Thursday that helped some folks win big. So we'll try and uh, get that going for you here a little bit later today. And uh, there's just great racing from all over the country, both on horse and greyhound tracks. And you can watch Wager and Win on all of that action, just like you're there, every day at Birmingham Greyhound Racing. Of course, the live greyhounds take to the track uh, on Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock. And then again, Saturday night at 745 We'll have some best bets and suggested plays for you coming up in just a moment. And don't forget the sports contest, big football weekend. Alabama and Auburn both off, but uh, Georgia-Florida plays the cocktail party down in Jacksonville. That's a big one. Mississippi State-Texas A&M should be an exciting game. And the big national game, of course, Penn State, number two in the country, goes to Ohio State, and they're actually a six-and-a-half-point underdog against the Buckeyes, and tough choices there in terms of which way to go. So it's going to be great. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get to the uh, suggested plays and best bets. Starting in race seven in the matinee, and we're going to tab the number seven greyhound, Live and Learn, as the key in this race. Seven with two, three, four with all, and then come back and put the three, four on top of that seven with the rest. In the ninth race, we've got a uh, Superfect to play for you. The two and the five are the two likely winners. The seven and eight, both big early speedsters, figure to be one of those two figures to be in front most of the way. I like two five with seven eight with all with all, and two five with all with seven eight with the all. And uh, in race number ten in the matinee, the odds are good. And that's not only the likelihood of success, that's the name of the Greyhound that will be breaking out of post six. Odds are good is the play here. Go with the six with the three, seven, eight with all, and then put the seven, eight on top of the six with all. Let's go to Saturday night at the races. The first one on our list is race number five. And number two, you guys know it, I love saying this dog's name, Cologne Ranger. The Cologne Ranger is in post two. He is surging, coming back to uh, sprint racing after the three-eighths mile trips that he ran. Uh, he's got two wins in a row. He's the uh, guy to beat here. Two with one, three, five with all. And then come back and use the one, three, five with the two with all. In race number 10 on the Saturday night card, the one and two look really good. That is the uh, combination of Blazing Sherry and the Red Hot DKC Buckshot in the Super. Put them on the ticket. 1-2 with 1-2 with all with all. And 1-2 with all with 1-2 with all. And in race number 12, uh, that one will be a good opportunity as well because yet to be determined, and what has been determined, he's in post 4, and he is 48 out of 58 in the money as far as his finishes. There is no dispute about that. Four with one, three, seven with all, and one, three with four with all in the trifecta. It's going to be a great day at the races. Hope you're planning on being on hand. Don't forget, next weekend is the Breeders' Cup. Friday and Saturday, the Super Bowl of Thoroughbred Racing. Watch all week here on the Birmingham Greyhound Racing Facebook page. We're going to have great previews and information and complete picks for the Breeders' Cup starting uh, on Monday, but really uh, intensifying on Wednesday when the draw for the races are made. See you at the races, everybody. Have a great weekend.